So here in the cardiac division, we take care of some of the sickest, most complex cases. I'm faced with unique challenges, and I'm equipped with the tools to handle those challenges. So as fellows, we get to make our own schedules. That means we get to pick our own cases. We get to choose the cases that are really going to help enrich our own learning. We're, we're here to learn, and that's clear, but we're also given a lot of autonomy and independence in the operating room. Our attendings well, want us to really own our cases. They want us to make decisions. The collegiality between the surgeons, the anesthesiologists, the nurses, the perfusionists, everyone worked together as a team with a common goal. I mean, it was that collegiality that really attracted me to Mass General and continues to, to keep me here. The Adult Cardiothoracic Anesthesia Fellowship Program at MGH is one of the top programs in the country. In addition to becoming excellent clinicians, the fellowship program at MGH trains its trainees to become leaders in the field that they are interested in, be it excellent echocardiographers, being excellent in pacemaker management, or other fields such as administration or research. Our fellows get to work on a wide range of very complex cases. Uh, we have adult congenital patients that are referred to our center. We have aortic dissection programs. We have heart and lung transplant programs that we're directly responsible for, as well as a really large expanding MCS program, one of the largest in the city and in the Northeast. We also have a lot of cases that are referred to us from other centers where these patients were turned down. So as our patients are getting sicker and sicker, cardiac anesthesia is being called up to become more and more as a consultant role. So not only will we teach our fellows to manage the cardiac surgical patients, to manage the echocardiography, we want them to learn the management of pacemakers. We want them to know how to do transthoracic echo. We want them to know how to manage mechanical circular to support in a non-cardiac surgical setting. We take curriculum development very seriously. It is divided into echo-related lectures, where we have speakers not only that are renowned nationally, but international speakers as well. The other half of our curriculum is divided into developing future leaders. That includes talking about DEI initiatives, cost containment, and practical aspects in anesthesiology. We have a very strong electrophysiology and interventional cardiology department as well. We have excellent echo training at this institution, we offer a very comprehensive echo lecture series as well as a car in addition to our cardiothoracic anesthesia lecture series. We are the largest general hospital, not only in the country, but probably in the world. And what that means is we provide care throughout the entire spectrum of life. What I believe makes MGH a remarkable program, what I experienced myself as a fellow, was the people I worked with, ranging from the surgical team who will actively involve you in the decision-making process, taking care of these patients coming off bypass as you read the echo for them, to the anesthesia staff, who I'm biased, but are some excellent clinicians and excellent mentors. Our attendings, our, our faculty are incredibly knowledgeable. They're experts in their field. They all have unique knowledge and interests that they bring to the table and that they're willing to share. But they're also humble and they're open and, and they enjoy learning from us just as much as we lear enjoy learning from them. And the teaching that we're getting is really world class. We're learning from some of the best and brightest cardiologists in the field. They're really there to support and help us grow um, to become um, confident and competent cardiac anesthesiologists. We take diversity, equity, and inclusion very seriously in this program. It's one of our key guiding factors when we do the fellowship interview process uh, during recruitment season. During fellowship, we have one-on-one -on -one mentoring uh, with a mentor of their choosing based off of their research interests, clinical interests, or even administrative interests. They go on dinners together. They may have out-of-OR conversations about career plans, uh, writing letters of recommendation, or assisting them in finding a job after fellowship. One of the things I'm most proud of in my colleagues is kind of our, our, our mantra as a, as a group. If it's important to one of us, it needs to be important to all of us. We have this willingness to take care of each other. And those are the cardiac anesthesiologists we want to develop and cultivate that strength. We are all comfortable with talking together and we truly work together as a team to come up with a plan that is best suited for the patient in front of us. It's incredibly important to maintain that healthy work-life balance and we try to foster that in our department. 
both by making certain that a post-call day, so after a 24-hour call, is respected as a time to decompress, and also making certain that if you are pre-call before that 24-hour call period, that you are going to be prioritized for relief. And in addition to that, by ensuring that you have time to socialize as well. We are a group of six fellows. Uh, we really form a tight-knit group. We help each other with the transition to life in Boston, covering for each other, um, helping each other. We're also given, of course, plenty of support and guidance along the way. It's a rigorous training program, but you will be a better anesthesiologist at the end because of it.